God gave me a picture, vision. I saw a big palace, and there are beautiful doors, several doors of entry into the palace, and over each door there is something written. One door has on it written healing. Another door has anointing written over it. Another door is miracle. Another door prosperity. Another door blessing. And I see lot of people coming. Say, oh, door of anointing! Everybody wants to go into the door of anointing. Miracles! Everybody rushing into the door of miracles. Prosperity! Everybody rushing into the door of prosperity. And they are going inside, and they are getting what they want. They enter through the door of prosperity; they get prosperity. They enter through the door of anointing; they receive anointing. So all these beautiful doors are there to the palace, and everybody is attracted to these doors and wide doors and wide gates and entering into it. But somewhere there is one small, unattractive door, a narrow door, and hardly anybody is finding it. And you know what is written on that door? Poor in the spirit. So nobody is looking at the door. People are rushing and going to anointing door, anointing, anointing. Choo! They are passing, bypassing the poor in the spirit door, going to anointing door, and coming. Oh, prosperity door! Everybody rushing to prosperity door. See, all going through blessing door, all kinds of doors. Some people rushing into big church doors, big crowd doors, everything. But nobody is even turning and looking at that ordinary, simple door, which has the title "Poor in the Spirit." Nobody is looking at that door, and everyone is getting what is written on the door as they enter the door. Very few are finding that door. But you know, if you go through that door. Poor in the spirit, very ordinary door. The moment you open that door, the path leads you to the throne of God. You will get your king there. Only entry through that door takes you to the king. All other doors take you to all other things, but poor in the spirit door takes you to the king. The kingdom of God is yours. The king is yours. Jesus said, "Strive to enter through the narrow door. Strive to enter through the narrow door." He said, "Many will go through the broad door. Very few will find the narrow door. It is the poverty of the spirit." The Bible says in the book of Revelation, right in front of the throne are the seven spirits of God, seven fires of God. You know which are those seven fires? Which are those seven spirits? They are the seven natures. They are the seven spirit forms of God. They are the seven fires of God. And one of those fires is the poverty of the spirit, the lowliness of heart. But why? Why I am telling you this? Because these seven fires are right in front of the throne of God. That means so close to God that anything that God communicates, they are the first people to hear it. And it's very, very clear. So what I'm trying to say is, if you are poor in the spirit, you will receive communication from God very clearly and first-hand communication. These are beautiful spirits, seven spirits of God. All throughout the Bible, the Holy Spirit is talked about one spirit, one spirit. But when it comes to Revelation, seven spirits of God, which are sent forth into all the earth. John says, "I saw the Lamb with seven horns, with seven eyes. That means perfect power, perfect wisdom." And then he says, "Which are the seven spirits of God?" That means these beatitudes, seven beatitudes, are the perfect wisdom of God and perfect power of God. Seven eyes and seven horns of the Lamb, seven natures of the Lamb. 